I always like telling people that be careful what you pray for. When I remember and recall my own vocation story or my God moment connected with that vocation story, I remember I'd been seeking and searching an answer to what was God asking me to do in my life. Certainly I felt an attraction to religious life, but didn't seem quite ready at that moment, uh, especially in my earlier, uh, younger days. And then one day, I thought to myself, you know what, here's an opportunity. In my own parish, they were having a parish retreat. And I kind of like bargained with God, and that was my first mistake. I said, this is a three-day parish retreat, and at the end of this parish retreat, give me an answer. Do I stay where I am, continuing doing what I'm doing, or should I look more deeply into a call that I feel for the religious life? Again, I remind you, be careful what you pray for. You would have thought that I would have looked up and found out what the theme for the retreat was, but I didn't. That was the surprise. When I get to church and the music begins, that's when it hit me. It was an Isaiah 43 retreat, and the song begins with, I have called you by name, you are mine, because I love you. It was at that moment that I knew my answer. Didn't need three days, and I could just see God chuckling. Yeah, I don't need three days either. At the end of that song, I was the only one that was sitting down. Everybody else was standing up. This is my parish, most know me. They thought there was something wrong. There wasn't anything wrong. I had gotten my answer and I knew that. At the end of that one evening, I knew I went home and I knew the first thing that I did was to pick up the phone and to call the vocation director for the Franciscan Brothers of Brooklyn. Now, why the Franciscan Brothers of Brooklyn? I had brothers when I was in high school and I loved what they did and how they did it and how joyful they were. They may not have been Franciscan Brothers of Brooklyn, but they were brothers. And I had always been associated with priests and with sisters and had always been blessed with having men and women, priests and sisters, who were wonderful, who taught me much and were wonderful examples. And I always knew I wanted to. There was something about it that attracted me. When I got to high school and I saw brothers, ah, there was something about that even more so that attracted me. And so the Franciscan Brothers of Brooklyn, I love St. Francis. And I love the things that he stood for in the life. And I was attracted to that. And I also wanted to contribute something back to the church. And I figured, why not as a teacher? Which is the reason why I did join the Franciscan Brothers of Brooklyn, because one of their main ministries, other than other things that they do as well, was teaching. And it's one of the contributions that I wanted to make, not only to the church, but also to my contribution to my community now. These past 25 plus years have been wonderful. And it has been a decision that I am so grateful that God gave me that opportunity of seeing that message in a, in a bulletin and actually going to that retreat. And yes, even bargaining with God. I think I got the better part of the deal.